Hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How, how is everybody? Fine, Very thank good. you. We're ready. Yeah. Okay, good. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, all right. I'm glad to see that the majority of you are connected. That is, that is good. That's very, very good that you guys um, are here on time. Okay. Um, well, guys, um, before we start, I'd like to take attendance. Um, so that we can start with that right away. So like I always do, I'm going to call out your name and just um, tell me if you're here or not, okay? All right, so let's start with um, uh, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right. Um, Andrea Giovanni. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Jeanette. Present teacher. Great, wonderful, welcome. Uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. Thank you, teacher. Right. Um, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier? No, not here. Okay. All right. Uh, Haiti. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Thank you, Haiti. Irene. Irene. No, Irene's not here. Okay. Um, Josue Alberto. Josue Alberto, no, right? Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. All right, welcome. Uh, do I have Carla? Carla? No, I don't see Carla. Okay. Hey, Melissa. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Melissa. Hey, Luis. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Luis. Um, Thank you. Manuel um, Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. No, not here. Okay. Marvin. Marvin Wilfredo. Present teacher. All right. Wendy Patricia. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. No, we'll see Wendy. Okay. Werner. Is Werner here? Okay. Uh, Noemi? Noemi? No. Okay. Um, Yvonne? Present. All right. Welcome, Yvonne. Thank you. Daniel? Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Daniel. Jorge Alberto? Thank you. Jorge Alberto? Jorge Alberto? No. Okay. Uh, Marlene? Marlene? Okay. Uh, Ricardo? Ricardo? No. Okay. But I'm going to call the name of the people that didn't answer. Francisco Javier? Irene? Josue Alberto, eh, Carla, Manuel de Jesús, Wendy, uh, Warner. Oh, I, I see Warner is connecting. Hello, hello, Warner.
Okay. Maybe they can't hear me. Um, no. Hello, teacher. Ah. Hello. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. Okay. And we have Noemi, uh, Jorge Alberto, Marlene, and Ricardo. Those are the people that I haven't heard from. Okay. All right, guys. Well, welcome to today's class. Um, how was your day today? Fine. Yeah, just fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. It's Wednesday. It's All Wednesday. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday, but you know what? Wednesday is good, a good day because Wednesday is the middle of the week. Yeah. It's finished, right? Ask me on Friday. The answer yeah. will be different. <laughs> yeah. So that's that's good news, right? That's that's yeah. good news. so we um something to look forward to, right? Okay, um, okay, guys, uh, so give me a second. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad um, that you guys uh, are, uh, well, that you guys have collected, or I know that sometimes it's a little bit difficult, you know, with, with work and everything, but I'm glad you guys are connected. All right, so what we're going to start with today is... Um, let me share my screen. Tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, great. So today we, well, uh, it's module it's beginner module five. It's unit three. We continue with unit three troubleshooting. What did we say was troubleshooting? Can somebody remind me what is troubleshooting? Can somebody remind me what that is? Troubleshooting? Problem solving. Okay, good. Problem problem solving, exactly. So in other words, um, you have to, it's a way of solving a problem, okay? That's basically what it is, solving a problem. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay. So, um, and today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021, and it's day number 12 of our class. And our facilitator is Jessica de Landa Verde. Okay. All right. So, um, let's begin. So, this is a review of what we did yesterday, which was these were the instructions from yesterday's class, working pairs. Think of a problem that may occur with the machinery at your workplace. Use the conversation exercise one as, as a model. Use the expressions from part four and present the conversation in front of the class. So I told you guys that we were going to be presenting um, the conversation, the other people that didn't present yesterday, we're going to be presenting the conversation. So, um, so if, I'm not mistaken, we stopped, we were going to start with group number two, sorry, group number five, sorry. And group number five was Andres Giovanni. Andres Giovanni, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, Who are you my working partner with? Is, my partner is not here. Who were you working with? With Soyla Noemi. With Soyla Noemi. Soyla Noemi, I think. Mm, okay, okay. Well, we're going to wait then if maybe um, Noemi comes um, comes during the class while we are presenting. Okay, in that case, we're going to go with group number six, which is Melissa and Wendy. Is Melissa and Wendy here? Are they both here? Melissa, see, sí. Wendy, no. Wendy's, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Híjole. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. We're going to give them a chance. Uh, then in that case, we're going to go to group number eight, which was Ana Claudia, Irene, and Manuel de Jesus. Are you guys, is everybody here? I'm here. 
I don't remember if we read the conversation. No, you didn't. <laughs> because you were the last group. Ah, okay, okay. You were the last group and I left um, the last groups for today. Mm. I don't know if my classmates are here. Well, I can see Manuel de Jesus. Um, I don't know if Irene is here. Irene, are you are you here? Irene, no, I guess she isn't. Is it possible for you, just the two of you to do it? What happened is, I don't know, we were trying to, we didn't finish and when we were uh, completing and dictating to Manuel, yeah. uh, we didn't complete it. And we had the ideas with Irene, but I don't know if you, you wrote the conversation, Manuel. Manuel? No. Uh -huh, we were in that step and we didn't finish. And we got the idea with Irene. Yes, no, no. You don't have anything? You didn't do anything with, um, with Manuel? Uh, he was facing some tech issues for seconds and for that reason oh. he uh -huh, having sound issues so he was in out in out <laughs> for that reason we completed with irene uh -huh. okay okay let's do something then we'll we'll leave this activity for a little bit later in the class okay okay so that we give the chance to the other people that have not come in mm -hmm. to to connect and then mm -hmm. present Sounds okay good. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. In that case, guys, like I said, we're going to continue with this activity later. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to be having a conversation between these two guys, okay? They're at work. This is a conversation between Luke and George, okay? Luke and George. All right, so um, I'd like two volunteers to help me read uh, Luke and George. Who can help me? Me, teacher. Okay, let me see who's me. <laughs> Heidi. Okay, Heidi, wonderful. Okay, so Heidi, do you want to be Luke or George? Um, Luke is okay. Okay, great. All right, let's look for a George then. Who wants to be George? Me. Okay, great, Francisco. You can be George. Okay, go for it, guys. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. What I don't know, I have checked uh, uh, it everywhere and it not want to turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables and plug are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers and has had uh, the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. So. Very good guys, excellent, bravo. Okay, very good. Okay, so guys, um, you had opportunity of reading um, both, well, in, in this case, we uh, Haiti and um, Francisco had the opportunity of reading and the rest of you guys have the opportunity of following the conversation with them. So tell me about vocabulary that you don't understand. Could you please write it down? You can read it in the chat, just like yesterday.
Okay, so I only have one word so far. I only have one question in the chat. Okay, good. So now I have three. Any more? Remember, you can write any anything you a word that you're wondering about or an expression or something that you're not completely sure. You have an idea what it is, but you're not completely sure. Sorry, um, could you repeat that? I heard somebody was talking. I'm not sure who it was. I guess it was a recording. Oh, okay. okay. All right, so that's it guys. Only three questions from the whole conversation. Okay. All right. That's great. Okay, good. Okay, so the first one that um, Yvonne wants to know about is has had, which, um, where is it? Has had. Is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me, let me circle this. Okay, so the first one that we have questions about is has had. Okay, and this is actually, this is um, a structure that we're going to be learning about today. Okay, um, so you don't have to worry about that at this very moment. But basically what it is, um, if you are going to translate in Spanish, it means ha tenido. Okay. That's what it means, at the needle. Okay. All right. And then we have the word by the way, or it's the expression better said, by the way. It's an expression saying that, um, uh, talking about that topic, I, um, I want to mention something else. Like another oh, yeah. word, like saying, um, I, now that we've talked about this, I just remembered about something else, right? Uh, but something that like has a, a relationship. So in Spanish, how would we use that expression in Spanish, by the way? Por cierto. Por cierto, mm -hmm. exactly. So basically we are changing the topic because we just remembered about another topic that has a relationship. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, man. Yes, teacher. Okay. Then we have the word plugged. Where is okay? Okay. Plugged means connected. Okay. So it says, have you checked all the labels are plugged or connected? Okay. So when things are joined, they're connected. And then we have the word won't, which is the negative form of will. So if you say, so in other words, it's the, the contraction of will not, which is the future. Okay, so it won't turn on. Uh, or in this case, the won't is the won't, won't turn on means that it's not working. In other words, it won't turn on, it's not working. It's like when you say in Spanish, no enciende. Okay. So the won't is just a contraction of will not. I read it down here so that you guys are clear about this. Will not. Okay. The contraction of will not is won't. 
Sounds good? Yes. yes, teacher. Yeah. Any other questions you guys want to ask me? Now's the moment. Okay. All right. In that case, I'm going to assume that everything else is clear. So what we're going to do then is let's practice the conversation together um, so that we also have the correct pronunciation. Now we know we know the vocabulary, we understand the vocabulary. Now let's go on to the pronunciation. So let's start. Remember, repeat after me. What's wrong with the computer, George? What's wrong with the computer, with the computer George? George? Hello, Luke. Hello, Hello Luke. Luke. Hello, Luke. Hello, Luke. Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. Well, well I, don't know. I don't know. I have checked it everywhere. I have, I have checked, checked it everywhere. 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 And it won't turn on. And, and it won't turn on. on, on, on. on. Mm -hmm. That's too bad. That's, That's too bad. Too bad. Uh, How about the connection? Uh, How about, about the connection? connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have you checked, Have you checked all, the all, the all the cables are plugged? OK, I'm going to repeat this word. Plug. 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 So be careful. It's not plugged. Not plugged. It's plugged. Good. So it's just one syllable. Plugged. 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 Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Mario. And Mario, the technician, the technician has checked it. Check 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 it. We have not verified. We have not verified. The rest of the computers. The rest, the rest of the computers. Anna has had. Anna has Anna had. Has had, had, had the same problem with her equipment. The same, the same problem, problem with her equipment. equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Has the maintenance team has, has the maintenance, maintenance team. team? Okay, I'm going to stop there in a moment. This word here. Okay, I want to make sure that everybody knows how to pronounce this word because this one's a little bit tricky. Okay, this one's uh, you gotta be careful with this word. Um, this word is pronounced maintenance. Maintenance. Right. So the reason, the reason why it's tricky is because there's like a little skippy of the word. It's not maintenance. 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 Main. 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 Main.
this is some of the this is a, one of those words that has like a, a skip in in the pronunciation and it's very it's it, it can be a little bit tricky if you do not um if, if you do not know that the, that there is a skip so the pronunciation of this word is maintenance okay so maintenance do you hear that maintenance okay maintenance maintenance okay maintenance 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 okay maintenance what i want repeat it um my goodness yeah it's you know what i if i were going to write it like phonetically or not it's with not, the vowels not not with not with uh phonetic symbols but just phonetically how i would spell it is like this let me show you so That's how I would phonetically spell it. Okay, so this is maintenance. Okay, but the make sure that the that the the how you stop with the um the the stop of the of the syllable is not here it's actually here maintain maintain okay so maintain maintain right so this this is the part that's tricky because you know especially um in in spanish you normally do not put two syllables together, right? So that it's maintenance. So if you notice the T is actually silent. You don't really pronounce a T. It's not maintenance. Okay, it's maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, yeah, exactly. That's it, yeah. Okay, so you know what? Maintenance. I'm just going to make sure that everybody understands it. So let's, let's do something. Um, I'm going to ask, I'm going to go by, by the list of how you appear for uh, like uh, in, in the list in, in Zoom for me, and then you can open up your microphone and uh, pronounce it and let's see if you guys got it. So the first one that appears on my list is Ana Claudia. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mainz. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. You can close your microphone. Thank you. Uh, Edgar. Maintenance. Okay, very good. All right, Marvin. Maintenance. Very good. Irene. Maintenance. Okay, close, close. Okay, let's try it again. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, so make sure that you the N is at the end. Maintenance. Maintenance. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. All right. Um, let's hear Haiti. Maintenance. Very good. Maintenance. Very good. Um, Juan Francisco. Maintenance. Okay, very good. Fabiola. Maintenance. Very good. Janet. Maintenance. Okay, very good. Uh, Melissa. Maintenance. Very good. Uh, Josué Alberto. Maintenance. Okay, very good. Um, now, you what you said, it's not incorrect what you said, but there you were pronouncing the T. It's not incorrect, but most of the time you're not going to hear the T. 
the T sound, sounds a little bit silent. So the way that normally, especially Americans, how they're going to pronounce it, British people are different. Okay, um, so I'm, I'm the pronunciation I'm teaching right now is has nothing to do with British America, uh, British English. This is completely American. So you want to try it one more time, um, Josue. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, good. Maintenance. Now, yes, very good. There you go. Okay, so join the two. Maintain, maintenance. Yeah. Maintenance. Okay, good. Very good. Um, ya me perdí. <laughs> Quiero ver. Uh, okay. Uh, Francisco, Javier. Maintenance. Could you repeat? Maintenance. Yes, very good. Manuel de Jesús. Maintenance. Okay, very, almost very close. Maintenance. 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 And put them together. Maintenance. Maintenance. Okay, good. Now put it together. Maintenance. Maintenance. Yes, very good. There you go. Okay, good. Uh, Werner. Maintenance. Yes, very good. Uh, Noemi. Maintenance. Okay, very good. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Maintenance. Could you repeat again? I couldn't hear you. Maintenance. Okay, maintenance. Uh huh. Very good. Uh, Yvonne? Maintenance. Very good. Very good. Luis? Maintenance. Very good. Uh, Daniel? Maintenance. Okay. Uh, could you, at the end, I didn't hear the s, right? So, maintenance. Can you repeat? Maintenance. Yes, that's good. Very good. Okay. Uh, I think I asked Wendy, right? I think Wendy already passed. Um, me teacher. Oh, okay. Sorry, sweetie. Go ahead. Maintenance. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. ¿Alguien más que me se me haya quedado? No. Okay, perfect. All right, so you guys got it. All right, so I'll, so now you guys can open up your microphone all together and we're going to practice again. Has the maintenance team... Has the maintenance, maintenance team, team... Replaced the batteries. Replaced the batteries. And remember, also the word replaced, replaced. at the end has the t sound, right? The, the T sound. So we have replaced. 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 Excellent. No, they haven't. No, no they, they haven't. haven't. They haven't. My boss sends them a memo. My boss, My boss sends, sends them a memo. memo. Every week. Every, Every week. 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 I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. By the way. By the way. By the way. By the way. way. The 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 way. Technician. The technician. The technician. Okay, good. Remember, notice that this word is technician, not tech. Not technician. 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 Because in English, the CH sometimes sounds like a K. So sometimes it's tech. 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 Technician. Tech. Technician. 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 Okay. Good. And finally, <clears throat> rate. Great. 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 I hope he can fix this problem. I, I hope he can fix this problem. Excellent. All right.
You guys got it. Okay, very good. Okay, so this is our conversation. And what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is work with a partner and practice it. Remember, practice pronunciation, especially with words that we have, I have um, emphasized, which are the most, the majority of the, of the, of the words that I have emphasized are the verbs, right? If you notice, I've talked to you about, for example, this one you say, with like a toot sound at the end, right? I've said verified with a verified. And words like replaced with a T at the end, right? Okay, so try to uh, make sure that you pronounce those words. So let's get you guys to work in groups, oh, sorry, in pairs, so you can practice the conversation. Um, quiero ver, quiero ver. Uh, Warner, tengo Warner. Who's the Warner? The teacher only one. Oh. Only one, okay. Yes. Okay, good, perfect. All right. Ah, de veras que lo veo diferente. Okay, good, yes. So now, now you have uh, you have camera and, and uh, microphone at the same time. That's great, excellent. Okay, great. So let's get you to work in pairs. All right, and I'll give you five minutes. I don't think it should take you too long. Okay, actually, I'll give you six. I wait a little minute. Only reading. Just reading. Okay, here we go. Let's open up the groups. Yes, I have a Mario the technician, technician, a shake it, shake it, it too. We have no very, very fit, very fit the rest of the computers. Anna has had the, the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that at the maintenance him replaces the battery? No, they have it. My boss sends their memo every week. Every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope we can fix this problem. Well. Uh, very good. Um, Fabiola, do you want to help me out uh, repeating some words? Could you say the word checked? Check, check. Okay, make sure you pronounce the T at the end. Checked. 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 Check. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. okay. And now the other one is verified. 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 Very good. A veces ayuda, aunque, aunque al principio se sienta como un poquito, um, como así, eh, así rara que, que decirlo, pero a veces ayuda el um, exagerar al final. Mm. Okay, so instead of just saying uh, checked, it's checked, right? So checked. If, you, if you 
if you exaggerate at the beginning, you may feel a little funny, but in the end, it will help you. It will help you to be able to, um, to make your mind remember, ah, oh, yes, T, so check, t, check, t, and then finally your, your brain will get it like immediately and you don't have to, you don't have to overdo it, right? But, but if you exaggerate at the beginning, that can help, okay? No, thank you. Sure. Okay, good. All right, so let's switch. Okay. okay. What's wrong with the computer, yours? Hello, mute. Well, I don't know. I have checked. I have put up a teacher for to pronounce the two words with it. Sorry, repeat. To pronounce check and then it. Oh, you... okay. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. Check it. Check. Or if you want to put it like together, it's checked it. Checked it. Checked it. Checked it. Checked it. Okay. Checked I it. have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's to that, how about the, the connection? How do you... What's wrong with the computer, York? Hello, Lou. Well, I don't know. I have checked everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too, that's too bad. How about the connection? How are you check it? Are the Cable are a plug -in. Yes, I have. Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that has the mind mine thing replaced the battery. No, they haven't. My boat sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix the problem. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's very good. Um, do me a favor, Luis. Can you repeat the word checked? Oh, sorry. Checked no, sorry, repeat yeah. together. Checked it. I have checked it. Checked it. Yeah, I have checked it everywhere. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you repeat? I have that? checked it everywhere. Very good. Uh huh. Good. And uh, Manuel, can you help me repeat? Um, has the maintenance team? Has the min maintenance team? Almost maintenance. The maintenance team. Has the maintenance team? Yeah, that's better. Good. The main teacher. Thing. Yeah. Yes, please. Can me? Can you help me with the pronunciation of uh, cables or or I don't know something like that. Cable. Cable. Is correct. Oh, yeah. Have you the have have you checked all the have you checked all the cables are plugged? Plugged. Plugged. Okay, cables and plugged. Yeah, cables are plugged. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the main session in a moment, okay? Okay, see you. Okay, hope. Um, let's... Uh, Okay, so I think everybody's back. All right, so how did you guys feel with the practice? Did you feel that 
you could uh, pronounce the words correctly? Do you have any problems with the pronunciation, their fluency, the connection of the words? For example, there was, uh, there was a part where it says, I have checked it. And that, that usually goes together. We don't say, I have checked it, right? We normally say, I have checked it. So we say, checked it, checked it, not checked it, right? So have any problems with those unions? Checked it. Okay. Checked it, no problem. Checked it. Checked it. Checked it. <laughs> Checked it. <laughs> Checked it. Checked it. Yeah, exactly. So normally we, we do a, a, a lot of those things in, in English where we we reduce um, we reduce almost like the pause in between words and we just unite the words, right? So um, instead of saying check it, we say check it. We put it together. Like it as if it was one word, but it's really two, right? And so, and that happens a lot when the next word is, um, starts with a vowel sound, okay? So, it, it, it's, it's a, the sound is, is a vowel, right? E, 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 right? So that in the last one, um, the last, the last sound of the, of the, um, of the word before is a consonant, checked. So it finishes in a consonant sound. And the next one starts with a vowel sound. So when that happens, we do we like to do a lot of uni, um, unification there of the words, just to and uh, we unite them and create it as if it was one word. So and we say check tit, check tit. Okay, sounds good, everybody. Teacher, yeah? it is saying turon, turon, turn on. Tur Turn on. Turn on. Turn on. So you don't say turn on, you say turn on. Turn on. Right? As if it was one word. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Anything else? Any other questions about the pronunciation, the fluency? Anything else that you guys were having problems with? Teacher. Uh huh. Uh, let's go with, with Edgar first. Okay. Teacher, uh, I, um, lo diría en español, hay palabras que se lee, que se escriben por separado, pero que se leen juntas. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo la voy a diferenciar? What I told you, the, that, that, that um, idea of when the last, actually, uh, let me, I'm going to use the whiteboard. Okay, so um, so words like, for example, voy a ser grande para que lo puedan ver super bien. Okay, so words like checked, it. Creo que está muy pequeño, está así, no es grande. Okay, great, perfect. Okay, words like checked it, that over here, that um, that word, that, that um, the, the ending of that word is a consonant sound. Okay, um, so right here, this is a consonant sound. And I'm just going to put C for consonant. Yeah. All right. And the next, the next word starts with a vowel sound. Okay. This right here is a vowel sound. The sound is it. Right. Okay. So okay. in this case, the the sound is vowel. I'm going to put it as a V. Okay. So when you have at the end of a, when you have the, the, the ending sound of a word that finishes in a consonant sound and the next word 
starts with a vowel sound, is, and it's a short word like it, then we put them together, right? Normally, when it's a short word, not we don't norm we don't do that when it's a long word. Si, si la próxima palabra, si esta palabra que fue que que continuara fuera larga, normalmente no hacemos eso. Pero si es una una um, palabra corta de una sílaba, lo vamos a unir. Por eso es checked it, checked it. Checked right? it. And the same thing, for example, somebody said turn on, right? Turn on. The same thing happens. It's short. On is short, right? So that's why we can do it like that. Okay? Because the 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 ending is is a consonant sound, and the beginning of the next word is a vowel sound. Okay, this one's a consonant sound, this one is a vowel sound. Okay, and on is short, right? No es una palabra larga, es bien corta, it's one syllable. So we can say, we don't say turn on, normally we say turn on. We turn on. Okay, let's turn on the TV. You don't say, let's turn on the TV. It's turn on. Let's turn on the TV. Turn on. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good. All right. So, Edgar, is, is it clear? Yeah, teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. Um, quiero ver quién más tenía una pregunta. ¿Quién más tenía la pregunta? Ah, Andrés. Andrés, ajá. Uh, can you repeat the pronunciation of club? Club, club, no, I don't know. Of which one? Uh, club, club. In the... Cables are club. Oh, club. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's asking about this word. Oops, plug. Okay, so this word here, the 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 ed is just a, the sound is not a t, it's a d sound. So you say Plugged, plugged, okay, plugged, okay. So, phonetically speaking, I'm gonna spell it phonetically. It sounds like la. Thinking about Spanish, plugged, plugged. Okay. That's like phonetical, right? Like, all right. Okay. All right. Anything else? Any other questions you guys have? No. I have a question for you. Have you guys ever? I don't know. Has anybody ever explained to you guys uh, when we know it's a d sound? When it's a t sound, when it's an id sound? Please explain. <laughs> Maybe, but we don't remember. Assume okay. that we don't remember. No problem, no problem. Okay. Um, okay. Cuando, cuando termina en la ed, as ustedes saben que a veces hay diferentes sonidos, ¿verdad? Do you know about that? Or no? Yeah. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Now the question is when? When when do we use the d? Whether when do you use the t? And when do you use the id? And I'm going to I'm going to um, use the, the the whiteboard in a moment to show you. But before I show you, I need you to understand something. The importance in this um, it, to be able to identify it 
has to do with the ending of the sound. Okay, or, or the end sound of the of the um, eh, of the verb. Okay, so um, and what you in order to be able to identify, I need everybody to do something. Okay, para para poder entender esa esa partecita esta lección necesito que todos hagan esto. Necesitan tomar sus dos um, sus dos eh, um, dedos. Dedos. ¿verdad? y ponerlo aquí sobre su garganta, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a hacer es, los ejercicios que vamos a hacer siempre estén tocándose su garganta para que puedan identificar lo que les voy a decir a, a, a continuación. O sea, entonces ahorita todavía no, ¿verdad? Pero lo que les estoy diciendo es de que a partir cuando yo les pregunte tienen que estarlo haciendo con los deditos en la garganta, ¿ok? Para que podamos identificarlo. So I'm going to show you guys Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, uh, like I said, there are three sounds. Okay. The three sounds are. The D sound. The okay. and the id sound. Okay. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Those are the three sounds. Okay. Um, uh, Okay, those are the three sounds. Okay, now what we have to do is identify, like I said, what is the sound of the original verb? Not the verb in the ED, but the verb just in the original form. Okay, so um, let's say, uh, Okay, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, a momentito. Yeah, what is there? Okay, all right. So I'm going to put here on this one. This is what we call, this is what we call, Um, I'm getting color. Okay, this is what we call voiced. Okay, Oops. this sound is voiced, and we're going to find and we're going to talk about what voice to means in a moment, okay? So, but I'm just, I just want you to understand that the D sound is when it's voiced, okay? Okay. This one over here, I think I'm gonna move it as well. Oops. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move this one around here. Yeah. Okay, this is what we call the sound is voiceless. That's what we call it, it's voiceless. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so to be able to identify if you're going to use the D or the T sound, we need to understand if it's voice, we need to identify if it's voiced or voiceless. voiceless. Now, what does that mean? Voiced and voiceless. I'm going to teach you right now with the the, the practice of the of the um, uh, of the use of your two of your two fingers. What this means is voiced is at the end of the of the sound or the last sound of the word. Can you feel a vibration or you can't feel it? Okay. To give you an example. I want you to take your two fingers 
Put it on your throat right now. Oh, I see. I'm going to say it to sister. Put it on your two fingers and put it over here. And I want you to pronounce the word play. 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 Just play. No, 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 no lo pongan con ed, solo play. El, play. El verbo, el verbo sin ningún cambio. Play. 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 Do you play. feel a vibration at the end? Yes. Yes, play. Then or no? Yes, teacher. Play. Yes? yes? Okay. Teacher. If you feel the vibration, that means that that word is voiced. Okay? Voice means that there is a vibration. That means that play goes in this category. Okay. So when we pronounce the word played, it should say played, played. with a D. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Yes. Good. All right. Now let's, uh, I'll give you another one. Um, Give me a moment. Just a second, guys. Um, just give me a second, guys. Okay, I have another one. Um, Okay, hold on, before I, I do that. Now, let's, before I, I write it down, I want you to put your two, your, your two fingers on your throat and say, explain. 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 Do you feel it? Do you yes. feel the vibration yes. or no vibration? Okay. Yes, there is a vibration. There's a vibration, right? Mm -hmm. Because there's a vibration, again, it's voiced. Therefore, we're going to put explained under this category. So when you pronounce the word explain, it's going to say explained. 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 Yeah? Okay. Explained. All right, so far so good? Does that make yes, sense? Yes, teacher. Or mm -hmm. any, any questions, any problems that you have? No, so far, so good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, okay, just give me a second. I'll give you another one. Um, let me see something. I'm going to try to make it a word, uh, another one that finishes in a different sound. I don't want so right now you have sound you've heard the word play okay uh so the y sounds the same and um the the y sound is uh is the vibration so you're going to put ed any 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 word that sound that finishes in y um means that you would have to use the d sound and any word that finishes in the n like explain then we would have to um we would have to also the center at the end okay um let me see just give me a moment i'm going to give you an example of another word that's voiced um
Okay, I'll give you another one. All right. Put your 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 two fingers together, put it on your on your throat and say close. 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 Can you hear it or not? You hear yes. the vibration? Close. Yes. Close. 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 Can you hear it? Close. Or? Close. 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 Yes or no? Close. 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 Like close the door. Close. Do you hear it or no? Yeah. Siente la vibración, sí o no? Yes. So say close the door. Close the door. It's not so it's not close. Close the door? No. It's close the door. Close the door. Close the door. Oh, ¿me lo siente o no lo siente? Close the door. ¿Cómo no? Se siente. Ok, si no, lo están, si, no, si no lo sienten, no lo están pronunciando correcto. Lo están pronunciando como una S al final. And the sound is not an S. It's close. Close. Ok. All right, so practice it. Close the door. Close the door. Do you feel the vibration? Yes? If you can Close feel the vibration, the then no. it's put, you're doing it correctly. In that case, when you say you when you say closed, we would say closed, not closed. It's closed. Okay? Estamos chicos o oh. sí. Is this clear? Yes. Yes. Any questions so far? Very clear. Very clear? Okay. All right, good. Now, in the case of the voiceless, these are verbs that at the end don't feel a vibration. Example, walk. Teacher, se, teacher, se escucha mucho ruido. Okay. Alguien tiene abierto un micrófono. Va, ya vamos a ver. Vamos a ver cómo podemos arreglar esto. No se preocupen. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh, un momentito. Ahora ah, ya se escucha mejor. Sí, ya, ya todos los micrófonos están apagados. Ok, good. All right, so, um, okay, so everybody, you don't have to open your microphone for this. You can do it in the privacy of your home. Just put your, your, your fingers on your throat and say, walk. 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 Do you feel a vibration? Walk de caminar. Do you feel a vibration? Walk. It's like. Lo sienten o no? Yes. That is shorter than the But others. It's not, at the end, no estamos hablando al principio, sino que el final. Walk. Si quiere exagerarlo, walk. Si lo exagero, sí. ¿Se siente o no se siente? Yes. Walk. Si walk. quiere exagerarlo y, y hagan. ¿Siente vibración? Yes, teacher. ¿De veras? You shouldn't feel walk. like. Es que se siente bien leve. No es vibración, sino que es un sonido corto. Walk. Walk. Vibración Walk. como los demás, ¿no? No hay vibración. O no debería Walk. de haber Walk. Walk. So, if you say walk, Walk. Walk. no vibration. Walk. In that case, that's Walk. voiceless. And that means that we would put it under this one. Walk. You would say walk. 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 Okay. Bye. Walks. Ahora do the same thing with the word dance. 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 
¿Quieren? Alarguen la, 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 el sonido. Dance. Thanks. The vibration, yes or no? No. 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 So it's also voice, it's also voiceless. So when you pronounce dance, dance you say dance t. dance t at the end. Dance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dance. Estamos? Thanks. Okay. Yes. All right, good. Now, um, all right. Now, if we are using words like, for example, um, uh, Okay, a change. Say change. change, 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 change. Yes or no? Can you hear it or no? You can't hear it. Changed. Sorry, uh, sorry. Perdón. Just, just the verb. Change. Sí o no? No. Change. Si quiere hablarlo. Change. Change. ¿Sí o no? ¿Son sinceros? ¿Lo oyen? ¿Lo sienten o no lo sienten? Yes. No. Yep. ¿Algunos dijeron que sí? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That was actually a trick. That was, I, I was trying to see if you were paying attention. Yes. That one, you can hear it. Change. If you hear it, you can feel the vibration. So that means that it goes under this category right here. So this one should say changed, changed, okay? Changed. Yes, got it? Got it. All right, um, I'll give you another changed. one. Mm -hmm. Changed, okay? Um, let me see. Quiero ver otro. Um, Okay, um, another one. Let's see. Um, watch. Watch. What are over here? Watch. Watched. Si quieren nadar el sonido. Watch. No se siente. Watch. 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 Feel it or no? No, yeah. I don't feel it. No. Me neither. Mm -hmm. No, very good. So we would put it under here. Watch. So we would say watch. Watch. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, ¿Qué otro podríamos hacer? Ah, bump. Vale. Bump. Bump. Can you hear it? Bump. ¿Hay vibración? Bump. 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 Yes. There's no vibration at the end. No bump. What does bump mean? Bump. bump is like golpear. O sea, como, cuando se, como toparse. Mm -hmm. It's like toparse. Yes, I feel it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it. <laughs> well. The, the vibration has to be here in your, your throat, not in your mouth, 
not anywhere else, in your throat. Bump. Bump. Is it in your throat? I feel it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing bad. Bump. 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 Like play. Explain. Bump. Whenever you, I'll give you a, a clue. Whenever you have a, a verb that finishes on a P sound, there's, it's, it's voices. So, bump. Ah, okay. Bump. So in this case, bumped is, it would be with a T, bumped. Okay? Okay. So is this clear for you guys? Voice and voiceless? Yes. <laughs> yes? Okay. Clarify uh, many things. <laughs> Teacher, okay, I, uh -huh. I think we need to get the attendance. Yes, we do, we do. Let me just finish off this idea first. Uh-huh. We'll get the attendance, thank you. Um, okay, so. Now, the question is, what do you do with the ED? What ED. With the id? How do you know? Basically, the id is with verbs that finish in a d or t sound. Okay. All right. That's when you would use the finishes and d or t sound. Very simple. I'm going. If this is very very simple. Verbs like add. Okay. Or um, add. Hold on. Add. Land. Yes, land. Mm -hmm. Land. Um, um, and eat. Ah, no, pero eso es irregular. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, es irregular. Uh -huh. uh, need. Need. Okay, need. Okay. Uh -huh. All of these finish in a d sound, right? So add, land, need. Okay. They're all, they all finish in the d sound, right? Or also when you finish in in the t sound, like for example, um, complete, um, complete, it, adapt, Okay, um, that could be a insert. Okay, verbs like okay. that that finishes in, in the sound, right? So, complete, adapt, insert. What happens is when you add the 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 ed at the end you're going to end up saying you're going to do an extra syllable mm. okay for example um add is one syllable so when you say e, when you put ed it's a did two syllables okay land is one syllable but when you put the ed it's land did two syllables mm. Okay. okay, need is one syllable, but if you put ed, it's let me did two syllables. 
okay? Complete is two syllables. Complete, right? But if you add the D, it's completed, three syllables. Complete. Okay? Mm -hmm. When you have adapt, adapt, adapt is two syllables. And if you put the ED, it's adapted, three syllables. Adapted. And then insert, insert, two syllables. If you add the ED, oops, sorry. If you add ED, it's inserted. Almost sounds like an A and I together, right? Insert it. Inserted. Yeah, inserted. It. It. Okay. Okay. Inserted. Yeah. Inserted. Okay. okay. So the key here for this one is that you're looking for the the sound is a T sound or a or better said a D sound or a T sound. So here it's added, landed, okay. need, needed, complete, it, adapted, inserted. So that's what we're looking for over here. And remember, there's always an extra syllable. Okay. So it's the verb plus extra syllable, all right? Got it, guys? Got it. Yes. Okay. Any questions so far? For me, it's clear now. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, questions guys? Now's the moment to ask. So, acuérdense, esto es bien importante. Acuérdense de que tiene que ver el extra syllable para que puedan distinguir entre el presente y el pasado. If you just say add, add is the present. You have to say a did the extra syllable. Complete is the, is the present. But if you say completed, extra syllable, then it's the past. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, there okay, you go. Thank you, teacher. So you clear, welcome. very complete information. All right. I'm glad you, I'm glad you, I could help you guys that way. All right. Let's take the attendance. No queremos, okay. no queremos um, postergar esto más. Okay. So, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Great. Andres. Present teacher. Excellent. Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. Excellent. Fabiola. Present teacher. Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Irene. Present. Josue. Present teacher. Uh, Juan Francisco. Carla. Carla. Okay. Uh, Melissa. Present teacher. Luis. Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Okay, good. Um, Wendy. Wendy? He's not here, okay. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Is Noemi? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Daniel? Present teacher. Uh, Jorge Alberto, Marlene, Ricardo. Present teacher. Okay, good. So, los que no escuché fue Carla, Wendy, Jorge Alberto y Marlene. 
Sí, creo que todo Teacher, es... I'm still here. No le mencioné a Marvin, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> Marvin. <laughs> okay. Present teacher. All right. Okay, good. So everybody's here. All right, excellent. Um, okay. okay, so now that you guys, uh, we have that covered. Uh, it, let's let's finish off the, the conversation from, that we were supposed to do at the beginning of the class, but that um, not everybody was here, so we couldn't do it. So I'm going to go again. So group number five from yesterday was Andres. Con quien era Andres? Soy la Noemi. Con Noemi. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noemi, are you ready? Ah, no, es que no, Amy, no está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, sí, sí, es cierto, perdón. Perdón, no. Carla, no está. Carla, no está. No está, es cierto. Ok, so, all right, go ahead, Andrés y Noemi. Uh, can I share a screen, teacher, because soy la... It doesn't have the text. Okay. This one. Can you read, Soila? Hi, Giovanni. How are you? Hi, Soila. Hi, I'm here because I have a report. A report of your office. Yes, I report yesterday because my computer it doesn't work properly. Okay, tell me what is the specific problem. Here it makes a strange noise. Okay, I'll have a look at it. Okay, please. In that case, the problem is in the hard disk. We will change it. Okay, thank you for your help, Giovanni. Okay. All right, good. very good, good, guys. Very, very good. Excellent. Okay, good. Um, very good. I. I very clear. Just um, something I noticed, which is is more of a grammatical problem. There, um, I noticed you put the computer or my computer, and then you put the word it. Just be careful with that because when you say the computer, the computer is a subject, and then it is another subject. So we can't put the two words together. It's like when you say, for example, Jessica she. We, can, we can't say that, right? We just have to say Jessica. For example, Jessica is the teacher or she is the teacher. But we can say Jessica, she is the teacher. Yeah, okay. so just, just a, a, minor, um, a minor detail there, but very good otherwise. Very, very good. Okay, bravo. Let me give you guys a pause. Okay, excellent. All right, let's move on to the next group. I have here um, Josué Alberto and Carla. Carla, let's see if she's still here. Okay. Carla is not here. Yeah, I know. Se salvó. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, all right. In that case, uh, Ana Claudia, Irene, and Manuel de Jesus. Irene is here. <laughs> Irene is here. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Ana Claudia. Hi. So, if you want, we can read what yesterday. Okay. Thank you. For, thank you for coming. No problem. Someone reported a fault in the sewing machine. I have a look at it. Okay. Thank you. It does not work properly. This machine needs the oil maintenance. I understand. Uh, oy, que era? Are coming. Oy, 
I recommend. I recommend. I'm sorry. <laughs> I recommend to. Uh, I recommend the oil maintenance once a fortnight. I will do so. I will do, do so. Do so. Uh -huh. That's do it. So. That is all what we work. Okay. All right. Very good, girls. Very very good. Okay. Let me give you one of these. Very good. Excellent. All right. Okay, so um, I guess uh, Josue was the only lucky one <laughs> that is not going to read that. Oh, me too. Wendy is not here, so I couldn't read the conversation. I saw Wendy. No. Yeah, but it, yeah, I think she's having problems with the internet. Oh, okay. Melissa, what was your group? What was your group? Wendy. I think number six or oh, something like that. Cierto. Ah, pues no. Wendy? So Wendy's not here? Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> she, she ran away. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, in that case, we'll leave, well, maybe tomorrow, we'll have to see what happens. Anyways, let's move on with the rest of the class. Um, okay, all right, so tell me when you guys can see my PowerPoint. Uh, can you guys see it? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Yes. All right, so what we're gonna do as a class, we're gonna be doing the following. In these sentences here, we have, we have uh, two options that we can choose from, okay? So we can say have or has, they check the system. Mary have or Mary has had the same problem with her computer. Our boss has, Send or our boss has sent a letter to the IT department. I want you to go ahead individually and circle the word that you think is the correct one. So it's I, we can choose from have or has, have or has, or send or sent. That shouldn't take you very long. Okay, you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes. Yes. Okay. All right, let's check the answers. Let's see what you guys, what did you put as an answer? Um, so, the first one, have or has? Have, teacher. Uh -huh. Good, we use have. Why do we use have and not has? Because it's the third person, the pl third plural person, they. Okay, because of the word they. So we always use have with they, not has. We never say, uh, we never say they has, for example. Okay. All right. What about number two? Mary have or Mary has had the same problem with her computer? Mary oh, has. 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 Okay, good. Why do we use the word has? Because of Mary, is she. Because? Because of Mary. Is because she? of it's third person. person. Exactly. Mary is our third person singular. So it's the replacement of, of she, basically. We always say she has, not she have. Okay, number three. What do you think? Our boss has send or our boss has sent a letter to the IT department. What would be the answer? Sent. Sent. Has sent. Um, sent. Good. Has sent. Anybody have an idea why? Mm. 
because it's continuously it's something that started and it's not completed or finished. I don't know, maybe. Okay. Because, because the sentence is in person in present perfect. Yes, you're right. And what does that have to do with send? You're you're absolutely right. Any ideas of what that has to do with send? Sent? Uh, because we are using has in this the sent is a irregular verb. Okay, good. All right. Sent is in the form of what we call the past participle. Have you guys ever heard of the past participle? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna write it over here. We heard, but if you can recall us. <laughs> This is past participle. Okay. Right here. This is called the past participle. So the past participle of the verb send is sent. Okay. And that's why. And I'm going to, in the next slide, explain why we need to use the past participle, okay? So let me just stop, it, stop uh, well, I do like this, easier, okay. All right, so in my next slide, we're gonna be looking at the present perfect, okay? This is our introduction to the present perfect. The present perfect, is used in the following way. I need volunteers to help me read. Can someone read, help me read uh, this? these two sentences? Well, actually, just the first one. The first one's fine. Who can help me read this first one? Hey, teacher. Okay, go ahead, Haiti. Okay. Use present perfect to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that start in the past and continue to the present. Good. Okay. Thank you very much, Katie. So in other words, the present perfect is used when we are talking about... Uh, just give me a moment. Okay, so we, we use it when we're talking about an unfinished action. Unfinished action means that the action is not complete. Okay? Or it's a state or habit. State or habit means that there's no action, nothing is happening. But that state or habit started in the past. Okay? And it continues to the present. Okay? So it could be one of two ideas. One, the action is not finished. The action is incomplete. Or two, it's a state or habit that starts in the past and it continues to the present. Sounds good? Yes, teacher. Part, is, that, is this part clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, all right. Now, let's see what are the rules. Let's, let's look at, take a look at the rules. It says, use the verbs in the, in the participle form. Okay. And the auxiliary, the auxiliary what? What do you think? Has, have. The auxiliary? Have, have. Right. The auxiliary have. Let's change. The auxiliary have 
for the it has. Oh, yeah, yeah. It has teacher. It has Third person teacher. singular. I'm sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. Have for the rest of the pronouns. Yeah. Has for the third person singular, and we use have have have. Right. We use have for the rest of the pronouns. Okay. So we always start with have if it's he, she, or it or have if it's I, you, we, and they. Those four are gonna have have. Sounds good so far? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. So the structure that we're gonna follow is this one right here. Subject plus the auxiliary, which we already talked about, have or has, plus the verb in the participle, specifically talking about the past participle, okay? So I'll write this down just so that, you, that, um, that I make sure that you understand it's the past participle. So the past participle and then the complement. Now, what is the past participle? The past participle is, you, you probably have seen list, a list of verbs that have three categories. In the first category, you have the verb in the base form. Then next to it is the second category that is the verb in the past, in the simple past. So for example, in the verb um, work, you say the first work and then worked, yeah? Or for example, in the verb um, stop, stop, stop. Right? Or make, made, right? Teacher. And the third category, yes. Sorry, I remember that for, Regular verbs is the same, the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. And past and past participle exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Irregular verbs are the ones that change in the. Mm -hmm. That's times. correct. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And that's why I'm going to explain. Uh, I was going to explain late, um, next that the third category is called the past participle. Okay, so the third column, that la tercera columna, siempre es past participle. Now. The past participle, if it's a regular verb, is going to be exactly the same as the simple past. So you're going to say work, worked, worked. It's going to be the same. Play, played, played. Yeah. Um, study, studied, studied. Yeah. A complete, completed, completed. It's going to be the same. The one that changes is the irregular one. In the irregular list, you're gonna see some of them change. And that one you can, the only thing you can do is memorize just like you did with the, with the simple past. That's all you can do, memorize, okay? So in the case of these sentences, Okay, I need a volunteer to help me read the sentences. Volunteer, help me read. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. go ahead. I have checked their report. Good, thank you. Next. They have not replaced the battery. Good. In Next. Negative statements are not after the auxiliary. Okay. okay. She has explained her situation. Okay. The team has not had that kind of problem. Good. Okay, very good. So now give me the past, the present perfect. In each sentence. In this sentence here, what's the present perfect? If 
parte es the present perfect. Huh? I have. Okay, not just have, but. Oh, I have, have checked. I've checked. That part here is the present perfect. Oh, okay. Okay. Next, in this one, what's the As present perfect? Explained. As explained. As explained. Very good. What's the present perfect here? Have not replaced. Good. Have not replaced. Over here? Has not had. Good. Has not had. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the, the past participle. What is the past participle in this one? Checked. Checked. Very good. Exactly. Um, checked. And because checked is a regular verb, it's going to be in the same the same as a simple past. What's it over here? Explained. Explained. Very good. Again, it's regular. It's a regular verb, so it's the same as simple past. Over here, what's the, the, the verb? Which one's the past participle? Replace. Okay. Very good. And replaced is again regular. So you're going to just have the same simple past. And in this one? Had. Had. Had is irregular, but it just happens that is the same form as a simple past. So this is but it's, it's irregular, okay? So far so good, we understand the structure? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So now let's give, I'm going to give you some examples now, other examples. She has lived here all her life. They have written three letters already. I have worked here since I graduated school. She, he has finished his homework. We have been to Canada. She has forgotten her folder. So in these ones, if you notice, when we have a regular verb, it's the same as a simple past, right? Um, so she has lived in the same, right? Option. All right, so lived is going to be the same, right? Because it's, it's a regular verb. So it's going to be the same as the simple past. The same thing happens when we're talking about uh, worked, it's regular verb. Finished, regular verb. So it's, these are all the same as the simple past. But look at the verb, at the verb right. Right is an irregular verb. So that way, that's the reason why we say written. Can you repeat after me? Written. Written. Very good. Written. Excellent. Written. Written. Very good. Now, also, be is an irregular verb. And this, the past participle of be is been. OK? Forget is also an irregular verb. So the past participle forget is forgotten. OK? Sounds good? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, that's those are affirmative sentences. What about negative? The negative sentences would be like this. I have not opened the door. You have not opened the door. He has not opened the door. 
She has not opened the door. It has not opened the door. We have not opened the door. You have not opened the door. Okay, so I did this on purpose in the same, the same <laughs> sentence, just making sure that you understand that this is all going to be the same. Just give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so it's all gonna be the same. The only thing that changes, like I said before, um, Okay, so we have here the past plus perfect, sorry, the present perfect. Okay. We have present perfect here. Okay. Um, so this, this is all the same. The only thing that's going to change is the use of have or has. Okay, so notice that we're going to be using In this one, because it's I, you're going to use have. In this one, you're also going to be using have because it's you. In this one, we're going to be using have because it's we. Okay, and also for this one, you're going to be using have because it's you. You plural in this case. All right. Um, now, in this case, we have the word, oh, well. Sorry, uh, in this one, he, she, and it is going to use has. Now, if you notice this one is negative, so we can say, we can either say have not, or we can do the contraction. What is the contraction, guys? Of haven't. Haven't. Exactly, yeah. So another possibility is to replace it using the word haven't. Okay, so that's one way. Or if it's um, the third person singular, we would say, for example, he has a, has not, or he hasn't. Hasn't, exactly. So that's another way we can say it. Sounds good? Any questions so far? No. 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 Okay. Good. All right. So let's put into practice. Let's see if you guys can under can do this. Okay. Let's see if you guys can figure out how to how to make the present perfect. I'm going to stop sharing for a moment so I can clear all of that information, and we're going to do the exercises here. So the instruction says, write affirmative and negative sen um, sentences using the prompts. These are the prompts here, okay? So Mario, change the fuse. This one's gonna be affirmative. The production, not stop. This one's gonna be negative because it says not. Our team, fix the equipment. This one's gonna be affirmative. Jenny, not plug the cords. This will be negative because the size is not. The secretary making enough copies. This one's going to be affirmative. And this one, um, the technician check the, the connector. Again, this one's going to be also affirmative. Now, uh, with all of these ones, you don't have to worry so much because it, it says um, casualidad y ojo con esto. Todos los, los verbos que están acá se utilizan de la misma forma que el simple past. Así que no se me preocupen tanto eh, como cambiar el past for
Okay, are we almost ready? Yes, teacher. Ready, teacher. Do we need more time? I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. Alguien necesita más tiempo? All right, let's let's uh, let's start writing it down quickly. All right, Fabiola, help, can you please help me with number one? <clears throat> Mario has no chain. If feels Mario has not change change like that. The Again? What did you say? Push. Push. What is the pronunciation? Fuse? Fuse. Okay, Mario has not changed the fuse. I see. Yes. Okay, remember we need to use the past participle. Almost says the past participle that change. Change it. Change. Change it. Change. So you have to put the changed it with a D. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you, Fabiola. All right. Um, uh, Yvonne, help me with number two, Yvonne. Yvonne? Yvonne está ahí, no, no sé si está teniendo problemas con internet, tal vez. Okay, no worries, we'll, we'll, we'll ask another person, don't worry. Um, Francis, oh no, Francisco. Francisco, are you there? This was Francisco, yeah. have you? Okay, perfect. Uh, could you help us with number two, Francisco? Es que the production has not stopped. The production has not stopped. Has not stopped. Right? Very good. All right, excellent. Um, let's have Werner help us with number three. Number three, teacher. Um Uh, our team has fight the equipment. Okay, has fixed. Fit. How do you spell yes. fixed? Our team has fit. The, the fit this? the fit. Con the alfi, the alfi, el Like that? The equipment. Okay, like this, F I X D. No, fix it. Fix it. Fixed. 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 Yeah. E yes. Okay, fixed. All right. Good. Our team has the fixed equipment. The equipment. The equi equipment. 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 Yes. The equipment. equipment. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, Warner. Uh, Manuel Alejandro, help me with number four, please. Jenny have not blocked, blocked the court. Like that? The court. Like that, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Alejandro? Yes. Así? Yes. Okay, all right. Number five, um, Edgar. Number four, sure. uh, number four is not, has not, yeah, yeah, number four. Let, let's, the, 
just get, give me a moment. We're going to finish five and six, and then we'll go back, okay? All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Edgar? Okay. The, the, the secretary uh, has, has not make it in no copies. What is the past of make? Make? Me, make it? No. Okay, all right. And no copies. Okay. Okay, um, like that? Like that, Edgar? Everyone have you to say? Yeah. Okay, all right, number six, Marvin. Number six, uh, the technician has checked the connector. The technician has what? Check it. Okay, checked. The connector. Like that? Yes, teacher. Okay, fine. All right. All right, class, any, anything you would change? Any, or are you okay with these answers? No. No? Uh, the first one the four? is not showing the negative. We just need to switch it to always in the affirmative way, right? Okay. All right, so, so what's the answer? Mario has changed. Okay, good. Diffuse. Very good, okay. All right. Okay. They diffuse, diffuse the article. Oh, okay. Okay. Oi. Okay, there he is. All right. Um, anything else that you would change? Number four. Number four. What's the problem with number Jenny, four? Jenny has. Jenny has. Jenny has. has. Okay, good. So Jenny has. Why? Number five. Oh, because it's a third person. person. Singular third person. Good. Okay. Number five, uh -huh. the verb is made. Okay, made. good. All right. So made. made. It's an irregular verb. Okay. Regular. Right. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Anything yes. else? Algo más que cambiar idea? Number five is not negative. Huh? Not negative. It's it's affirmative. Number five is not negative. Okay, number five is not negative. So what do you put? The security has made enough copies. Okay. So estamos bien? Okay. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's check. Mario has changed the views. Yes. The production has not stopped. Yes. Our team has fixed the equipment. Yes. Jenny has not plugged the cords. Yes. The secretary has made enough copies. Yes. The technician has checked the connector. Yes. Bravo guys. Very good. Okay. All right guys, that's it. So those are the sentences and tomorrow we're gonna you practice a little bit more to make sure you guys understand that. Sé que ha habido bastante información el día de hoy. Entonces, um, lo único que les voy a pedir es de que tomen un poquito de tiempo, unos 5 o 10 minutos uh, durante el, el, día, el, el día de mañana para que puedan repasar lo que hemos visto y así venga fresquecito en su mente cuando vengan a clase mañana. ¿Ok? Hey. All right. So that's it, guys. I will see you next class, which is tomorrow. Okay. And I will um, only have asked Melissa. Melissa, can you stay? Yes. Okay, perfect. I will see you then um, for the tutoring class. Everybody see you. Else, see you guys. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. Night.
Okay. Um, so Melissa? Yes, teacher. What can I help you with? Actually, in the last exercise, I'm, I'm confusing when I have to use has or have. When, when there are um, words like or team or let me see that production. When we say that, I'm, I, I'm confusing when I have to use have or has. Okay, okay, all right. Um, okay, I think you're, the problem is with the collective nouns. So we call collective yeah. nouns. Collective nouns are, are nouns uh, that even though they involved many people, but they are treated as one unit, okay? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, there are many of them. Let me see, I'm, I'm trying to find, Just give me a second. Okay, um, there, there are many, there's a, a big list, but I'm gonna give you some in the chat, I'll write some in the chat, where it's like family, staff, crew, police, oh, actually police is, is a, an exception. Um, uh, group, band, um uh, jury audience audience um class mm, well those are just some examples okay i'm so i'm not i'm not gonna go into like i said this a, it's a long list but those are some of the examples um, of words that are, um, even though they involve many people, like family, right? Family, lots of people in your family. But we treat them as a unit. We don't treat them as individual people. We treat them as a unit. So you say, for example, our class is big. You don't say our class are big, are. Uh -huh. right? Even though it, it involves many people, but the class is treated as one unit. So with those type of verbs, sorry, with those type of nouns, we use the singular form. So that's when you would have to say has. For has. Example. The family has, my family has visited New York. Okay. Um, the band has toured Europe. Okay. okay. Um, the audience has um, has given a standing ovation, ovation, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So you're going to be using has because it's we treat it as a singular form. Okay. Also, if I'm if I'm speaking in present, the verb will be with s at the end. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But those with like, for example, um, the jury doesn't know what to do. Okay. Um, the crew, um, the crew lives on the boat. Okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you, we would have to be using also, yes, with the S because it's, we use it as a third person singular. Yeah. Okay. Got it. 
So you and can look up in the in the on the internet uh, the list of now of um, collective nouns. Collective nouns. Yeah, they're called collective nouns. Like I said, it's a big list, so mm -hmm. you can look it up. Okay. Okay. And my last question is about the years or the when the thing that we were uh, studying about the. the the end of the words with the vibration or without the vibration, the voice and the voiceless. Mm -hmm. Where can I find the list to memorize all the words? Oh, you're not gonna. It, I think I think it's hard to when you're talking. I think it's hard to know which one will be pronounced with the D, with the T, with the D, or how how you could know that. Like I said, you have to, you know, just just sound it out, right? Put your feel feel if there there's a vibration there, and yes. that will help you. I mean, there is a list of letters that uh -huh. will tell you if it's voice or voiceless. Um, but like since the list is very long, I don't know if you want to do that. But we could. But uh, yes, I could. I can share that with you as well, if you want. Okay, I. It's just the, the problem that I that I ever ever have with the conversations is that I pronounce everything with D at the end, and now I know that it's not correct. Yeah, not all. So, of uh, yeah, so I'm not going to having a talking with uh, people of the office and and touching my throat to feel the the, the vibration. So. Yeah, how I, can I how can I know that the word is properly uh, pronounced? Yeah, I, I understand that. Uh, first of all, it, you may not walk around, you know, you know, touch your throat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I get that part, but um, but if you do it at home, then you're going to start identifying. Ah, oh, yeah, that verb. Yeah, that verb I need to pronounce it like this. And so when you do use okay. that conversation, your your mind will pick up and remember, ah oh, yes, that verb is with a T, right? So it's walked, right. not walked. Uh -huh. Right? Uh-huh. Okay. So if you if you do it at home and you and you voice it out like you have to you say it out loud, uh -huh. then your brain will start remembering that. It's like okay. the same thing that I always um, suggest to the students. I say sometimes exaggerate, right? So uh -huh. instead of just saying walked, say walked, and which is obviously exaggerated, but you're not yeah. going to you're not going to do that all the time. It's not like you're going to go around saying walked, walked. <laughs> but if you do that at home and you exaggerate it, your brain is going to memorize. And then after that, okay. it's going to become easier for you to just say walked and not having to exaggerate okay okay so maybe reading articles in english and and, and reading aloud and, yeah and exaggerating that yeah. word yeah. yeah like i said so exaggerated at the beginning and then your brain will pick up and say oh okay. yeah, yeah i remember that sound yeah but you have it's very important that you that you let your your brain hear it hear yeah. yourself saying it not other people yourself and okay it, it, you will remember it because um the brain will pick it up and say oh yeah yeah it's that way okay, okay. so at the beginning okay. do it and then you don't you won't need it so much but yes i can share okay. uh, i can share um the information there in the group if you guys want um of the yeah. verb, uh, what what letters would go with voice and which one would. Mm -hmm. yeah i think that that could help us a lot yeah, yeah i'll do that mm -hmm. okay. okay so that was my my two questions at the moment right um yeah i i was a little bit confused with the collective nouns but oh. now i'm much clearer okay and, and thank you for that. Oh yeah, you're welcome. My pleasure. Okay. Okay. All okay. right. Well, thank you so much. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.
Bye-bye.